Hi, and welcome to Greater Dot Vancouver. I'm Arlene Ami. Forty years ago, one of the pivotal books on urban planning was published. The Death and Life of American Cities was Jane Jacobs' first book and launched a career that has had a significant impact on how we think about our cities. Jane Jacobs has lived in Toronto since 1968 and has played an important part in Canada's urban community. She was in town recently to talk to the mayors of five of Canada's major cities, Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, Calgary, and Vancouver, otherwise known as the C5. We had the opportunity to talk with Jane about her ideas and why she feels the economies of these cities are at risk. I've been uh, worried about how few creative cities Canada has and how uh, really fragile the ones it does have. Uh, are basically, and how it would be a third world country without these uh, cities. What do these places have in common? They're hubs, everything, the things start in there. The cities are places where most innovations start, most new ways of doing things. Uh, that can range from services to objects, to, to styles, everything, uh, cultural things, and so on. Problems show up first in big cities, every kind of problem, uh, and always have, that that stimulates people to think of how to deal with these. Um, so, uh, in, with respect to innovations, Cities are the engines. If there's one word that describes what a creative city is and an uncreative city or other settlement is not, that word is diversity, cultural diversity. Uh, it includes ethnic diversity. It includes diversity of incomes and skills. Every kind of, of diversity you can think of, and the more except illegal diversity. And the more there is in the city, the more promising it is, because these all can serve as bases for new ways of doing things and for working together. Political structures have not reflected these changes. Um, they were set way back when it was mostly uh, mostly a rural and very small town uh, country. Cities were uh, bracketed with asylums and taverns as responsibilities <laughs> of the province. It's like a, a family in which the children never get a chance to blossom out. The paternalism of the whole thing, since municipalities um, differ so enormously from each other, uh, we, even within one province, uh, in size and in how they earn their living and, and uh, what their population is and so on, the only way that the senior governments can try to uh, address all this diversity and yet micromanage it is that they try to standardize things. One size fits all. And this is a recipe for stultifying settlements. It's also a demoralizing thing to be so dependent. It's a kind of learned helplessness that occurs that people don't want they don't like. It's humiliating and frustrating. And this stifles uh, lots of innovation. Uh, I can't tell you what it stifled, stifles because if something stifles, it isn't there. You can hear the full interview with Jane Jacobs on our website at greater.vancouvertvshow.ca. For Greater Dot Vancouver, I'm Marlene Emmy. See you next time.